Okay, hello students. Uh, this is Sensei Ong again. I know some of you have been asking me to do more videos. So here I am. I'm going to do a couple more videos. Uh, and today's topic is on food chain. Alright, and uh, okay, uh, if you. I've gone through transfer of energy. So if you remember, transfer of energy food chain is going to be relatively easy. In the topic of food chain, there's four things that you need to know. Alright. Um, let me just go through some of the terms that you need to know about food chain. Basically, if you know what is a producer, which I will go through one by one, all right. And if you know what is a consumer, what is a predator, what is prey, all right. And you are able to construct a food chain, and we have more or less cover the topic You're able to tell me how uh, in relations of one organism to another in a food chain we more or less cover the topic okay let's uh, first look at a uh, producer what is a producer all right basically a producer is any org organism organism that makes its own food and if you think about organism that makes its own food do any write down let me just write down organism that makes its own food. Think about it, there's basically only one type of organism that makes its own food and that is the trees, the plants. Plants make its own food. So when we talk about producer, we're basically talking about plants. Right, and in the food chain, uh, most of the food chains start off with the plants. So plants is the producer. Any other organism that is not a plant that basically does not make its own food becomes consumers all right so organisms organisms that makes its own food uh, is a is producer any other organism that does not make its own food are basically called consumers all right so simple concepts Let's just get this right. Uh, consumers is like me, you, okay, any other organism, the, the ducks, lions, uh, giraffe, okay, consumers, organism that does not even fungi, right? Organisms that do not make own food. They call consumers. All right, simple enough. So now you know what is a producer, you know what is a consumer. Let's go on with constructing a simple food chain. Right, start off with write a food chain. Let's write a food chain. And I think of a plant. Let's any plant, okay, I'll just... Plant, just any plant. Plant is eaten by... A plant eater, obviously, so maybe a sheep. Right, and a sheep is eaten. I'll just construct a simple food chain. Sheep is eaten by a wolf. Okay, so in this food chain, just three organisms, you see that a plant makes its own food. So in this food chain, this plant is a producer. Right? Can sheep make its own food? No. Wolf? Of course not. So, wolf and sheep are called consumers. Simple enough. Right? So, we know. But I think I covered this in uh, transfer of energy. But uh, just to recap also, producer is organism that makes its own food, its plants, any other plants, and sheep and wolf, because they do not make its own food, they are called consumers. Alright. Let me write another food chain. Do you want drawings? Let's have some drawings. Right, otherwise it's going to be pretty boring, right? Plants and uh, let me have... Let's see, okay. Uh, I want to draw a grasshopper. I'm not too sure whether I can draw a grasshopper. Yep, okay. And it, yeah, it doesn't quite look like a grasshopper. But anyway, yeah, okay. Let's, let's just pretend this is a grasshopper, okay. This is grass. Grass is eaten by grasshopper. All 
right? And grasshopper is eaten by bird, okay? This is what Miss Dong can do. I can re draw birds well, okay? This is what I can really do. One of my favorite thing to draw actually is just is birds. Right? Free hand, right? Bird. So I have grass eaten by grasshopper. Make sure, you, as we learned uh, previously, we learned on transfer of energy. Make sure your arrow is drawn correctly, right? Grass is eaten by grasshopper, is eaten by bird, and the bird is eaten by another predator. Uh, let's just put. Okay. Owl. Right? An owl. Okay. So here I got a food chain. All right. So in this food chain, you see that the grass is a producer. Grasshopper, bird, owls, they are consumers. And this is where I'm going to introduce another term which you know. All right. It's the term called predator. All right. What is predator? Predators. It's basically animals that hunt other animals. It hunts other animals, hunt or eat other animals. They're called predators. Okay, so if you look at this food chain, you immediately be able to identify that bird hunts the grasshopper. So bird is a predator. Right, I'm going to just put a P here. And the owl hunts the bird, so the owl is a predator. Right, simple enough, predators are animals that hunt or eat other animals. So what about the grasshopper? The grasshopper does not hunt other animals, it eats only the grass. Okay, this is another term that we call prey. So prey is basically animals that are hunted, okay, or eaten. Sorry about my handwriting. Animals that are hunted or eaten by other animals, they are called prey. So the grasshopper is a prey, alright, because the grasshopper is eaten by the bird. It is hunted by the bird, it's eaten by the bird. But in this food chain, there's more than one prey. Because uh, in most food chains, a predator can also become a prey. In this case, the bird is a prey. We, it's a prey as well. So the bird is both a prey and a predator. The bird is a predator to the grasshopper. Because the bird hunts or eats the grasshopper. But the bird also be becomes a prey because it is eaten by the owl. You get that? Alright, so you need to be able to identify what is a prey, what is a predator. Some, of, some animals in a food chain can be both prey and predators. If you get that right, we're good to move on. Alright, let me just erase all this. I, I have the same food chain. Or do you want to change another food chain? Maybe not. Uh, let's not waste time drawing. Uh, okay, I'll just erase all this. Now, the next thing I want to show is relationship of the animals in a food chain. Okay, um, grass eaten by grasshoppers, eaten by birds, grasshopper eaten by birds, birds eaten by the owl. We learn about population and what if, in this case, what happens if the population of the bird increases? Population of birds, that means the number of birds in the habitat or in the environment increases. What will happen in the, to this food chain? If there are more birds, that means there are more birds hunting or eating the grasshopper. Guess what will happen to the grasshopper? Alright, maybe let me use the changes in red. 
If the population of the bird increases, the population of the grasshopper will decrease. Of course, of course it will decrease because there are more birds eating the grasshopper. And if the population of the grasshopper decreases, the less grasshopper eating the grass, guess what? The grass will grow, there will be more grass. Okay, and it doesn't affect the hour. Owl will increase as well because now the owl has more prey to eat. All right, so you need to be able to see the relationship uh, of the different organism in a food chain. So with that, we basically covered the food chain. You need to know what is a producer, what is a consumer, identify predators and prey, and to be able to draw construct a food chain. When I say draw a food chain or write a food chain in exam, please do not draw out the diagrams. All right, the reason why Sensei Ong draw the diagrams is so that you can illustrate, uh, for illustration so that it's easier for you to learn. Okay, but for you students, during exams, please do not draw out the diagram. Just simply plan. Write in words, understand? Plant eaten by grasshopper. Make sure your arrow all right, is drawn correctly. Okay, and not the other way around. The other way around, you have a monster grass. Eating grasshoppers, that's scary. All right, so plant eating grasshoppers eaten by bird. And bird is eaten by our write in words please if you are asked to construct write in words i can say this enough understand if you're asked to construct a food chain write in words please do not draw diagrams i do not want to see diagrams okay that's all for today's lesson simple enough food chain all right try constructing some food chain your own and you can show it to me that's all